Oops. First game he shot four for fifth. I think he shot four for fifteen. This game eight for twenty-seven. Do you do you want him to? You know, is it in a game like this? Do you almost want him to take shots at times because you know you're locked in defensively? No, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you touch the ball, it's, it's a good chance that he has a score. Um, I just try my best to make it tough for him. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Um. My teammates helped me a lot. It, it was a lot of team defense involved, uh, but he's definitely talented and score, can score from all three levels. Was that the second half? Was that the best defense? Do you think you've played in college? Um, I don't know. I just, I just think I, w I was locked in. Um, we had 17 in the first half, um, so I kind of took it personal. Um, <clears throat> as a team, they only scored 18 in the second half, so not only me, but uh, just the entire team kind of took it personal. Um, being down at halftime, we protected the rim. I don't think we rebounded as well as we should have, um, but we did enough. We did enough and found a way to win. Did it seem early on that were you concerned? Maybe it's in the right word, but that he was going to go off and, and have one of those. Oh, uh, it was kind of. It was tough because I I feel like on on all the shots I made it as tough as I could for him. I was right there. He was still hitting him. Um, my teammates. Just, just kept me up. I couldn't let my confidence waver because it's a long game. Um, <clears throat> like I said, he's a talented scorer. He can score all over the court. Uh, but I just try to stay confident and just continue to make it tough for him. That's really it. Coach Sturgeon said what you do on defense is as important as uh, the scoring that comes. How has the road to like recognizing your role at that, uh, has that stopper been? Um, I'm just embracing it. Um, in order for this team to be successful, I have to be a lockdown defender, um, <coughs> make open shots and, and stuff like y'all know what I have to do in order for this team to be win. Uh, in order for this team to win, um, <coughs> but I kind of just, like I said, I'm just embracing it. Um, I knew he was talented coming in, averaging 24, 25 in the Big Ten. Uh, when Coach Turgeon told me I was guarding him, I kind of locked in, and I tried my best to make everything tough for him. How much fun was it to watch the freshman have that run? In the uh, in the second half, from, uh, from your perspective, and how impressive was it uh, to see guys like you know Jalen and Eric and Aaron just hit big shot after big shot? Um, it was a great feeling. Um, it, like you said, it was fun, definitely fun. Just just watching Aaron play with confidence. Um, Sticks just I feel like Sticks grew up. He grew up from a, a freshman in college in the first half to a grown man in the second half. Um, Eric. <laughs> just, just being, being Eric does what doing what he does. Um, even Sorrell, so all, all the freshmen played well. Ricky as well. Um, <clears throat> they just grew up a lot tonight. We needed them. They came through for us. Um, I think this confidence that they gained through this game can help us in the long run. How big were those threes that Eric hit on when Carson found? Kind of, did you feel the game change or anything about Carson change after those moments? Uh, it was definitely a big three. Um, Kind of gave us some momentum. Um, I'm not sure what the score was or what, or what like the time was, uh, but I was sitting on the bench at the time. I, I just felt the energy from the bench. Everybody was saying, "We right here, we right here." Just get a couple stops. Um, but Eric is a confident individual, uh, and the whole team has trusted him. So when we when he shot it, we all knew it was going in. Coach Surgeon said at halftime he talked more about body language rather than X's and O's. <coughs> what what was his message in, in that regard? Um, <clears throat> like I said, St Sticks wasn't as physical as we needed him to be in the first half. Me, like I, he had 17 points in the first half. I, I wasn't. I didn't have the best body language. Uh, just everybody as a team. He just wanted us to stay confident. Uh, we was playing in our building. We had our fans behind us. Um, we knew if we could string together a couple stops and make a couple shots, uh, we could make it a game. So he just wanted to keep us uh, in good spirits and confident going into the second half and. I think we came out, we responded well, and we did enough to win. Uh, you've had a couple of games that haven't gone your way with teams making runs at the end. Tonight, you did you made the run. Was it the defense that sort of led to that run? Yeah, uh, for sure. 
defense wins game. Uh, I think in the last eight minutes, they only scored four points. Um, that's what got us over the top. Um, even if we win the offensive drought, uh, we know that our defense was going to pull through for us, so that was key for us. Can you talk about coming here and being a Maryland fan for a long time and then beating the number 12 team in the building, the place going crazy? Um, it's just a great feeling. Just knowing how hard the whole team works throughout the summer, the, the, the spring, just throughout the entire year. Um, <clears throat> and just to come in and give it our all. Um, fighting against adversity in the first half and just coming out and keep playing in the second half. Um, and just seeing the joy on everybody's face and just the fun that we had out there playing. Uh, it was a great feeling and I think it, it got us, gave us some confidence going, going ahead. When you, take, when you take the uh, what you see in the scouting report to the floor, d does it? Are you thinking about things that you're, you know, you've seen on tape or you've heard coaches say, or is it just basketball and you're just locked in and playing basketball? And you, the scouting report is sort of in the back. Of your um, scouting report, you kind of see people tendencies uh, where they score the ball at, um, and just stuff like that. Uh, so you kind of know what to expect. Um, in certain scenarios and like certain formations that they're in. Um, but when you're on the court, it's, it's just basketball. It's just a mindset. Like far as me defensively, uh, I knew the scouting report. I knew some stuff was coming and stuff like that, but it's all a mindset I had to lock in um, and guard and kind of take it personal. Thanks, Daryl. Thanks, Daryl.